Tesla's down another 4% today, closing at $180. We actually hit lows of 175 bucks, and we're gonna go over a lot in this video. We're gonna talk about this big order block down at 160, where I plan to add to my long-term shares, and we're gonna recap this put position setup that I posted at market open over on X. If you guys wanna get access to my trades, I throw free trades out over on X all the time, or you can get access through our Discord community to all of my trades and all of our trading bots. That's gonna be the second link in the description. Ultimately, whether you're a swing trader, a day trader, or even a long-term investor, you should know how to read the basics of a chart and you should be monitoring the daily charts and the weekly charts. Number one, for institutional levels, because they're usually gonna be highly accurate for support and resistances. And number two, so that you can get an understanding of what the recent collective psychology of the market has been. Because all these candlesticks are, is human psychology, collected together. When you see a massive gap down like this, psychologically, that is saying that so many people needed to get out of that position because they did not like the earnings, that they're setting all of these market orders to just, as price is gapping down on the daily chart, they're filling, we get this massive sell, and it continues to drop down to about 180 bucks. So on that day, psychology was very, very fearful. That's all you have to look at it, but when you can understand truly what's driving price action and what's actually driving price and the fact that it's a bidding war between buyers and sellers, you can understand the psychology of the people, the collective behind it. So let's just start first by looking at this setup that I posted on Twitter. So you can go and follow me on Twitter slash X. It's gonna be the first link in the description, but I posted this morning at 9.17 a.m. Tesla must hold $185. We're retracing right now into this bullish order block and if this level is broken, the next stop is 170. Do you think this block is going to hold? So if we go and look at the daily chart, you're going to see that we had this break of structure here at $207.50. The reason that this is a break of structure is because we bounced here one, two, three, four, five days. We gapped down through earnings, and now on this final sell-off here, the last candle on that downward impulse will now become our order block and we get this massive recovery back up to 195 but what tends to happen when we have these order blocks is that we will retrace back into it before looking for a continued move back up to about 207 and in this case i knew that if this block could not hold the tesla was going to drop down into our target zone of 173 and from there down to 165 and today we broke right through that level came down to about 175.02, which is about 30 to 40 cents off from the target that I initially had drawn out at 174. Now, this block is technically still in play, but unless we gap up tomorrow and close over 185, it seems that Tesla is probably going to continue to sell off from where we are now down to about $165 or maybe even 160 bucks. Because as we said before, when we have these order blocks, there's a very high chance that we will retrace back into those levels. And that's because all of the big buyers who wanted to get into Tesla at $160 last time, we're not talking about you, know, you and me, we're talking about institutions with hundreds of millions and billions of dollars. They don't pull the trigger the way that we pull the trigger. They're not gonna just grab their phone and start making trades. They have to place massive, massive orders that have to be met with volume. And on top of that, only at highly specific price targets and price levels. This is how institutions trade and how institutions build positions. Us, on the other hand, we don't have to do that because we're trading with little money relative to what they have. So all of these orders are probably still sitting here to buy. And that's why my target for the downside is going to be around 150, at the worst down to 100 bucks. Now they have this drawn out for some reason. This is TrendSpider, they have it drawn out like that. If I were to be drawing this out, I would actually say that this order block would be right about here on this impulse because like we said before, we have this break of structure here. I'm actually gonna bring this in here. So when you see these points, this structure broken, like we said, the final candle before that impulse starts this is going to be that order block. So I'm assuming that if we end up breaking 185 and holding under, which is where we are now, the next level that we'll be watching is $160. 
And then from that next level, it's all the way down at about 108 bucks. So I currently have shares long-term. I have 400 shares that I've been holding for a very long time and an average of 202.52. And I do not need to be getting more shares of Tesla. I have a long-term fundamental video coming out on Tesla, which I plan to get out probably by the end of this week. And it's not that I'm any less bullish than I was before. It's just that I need Tesla at a massive, massive discount. When I started building my position a year and a half ago, I like to, as I said, with big money as well, layer my positions in. I don't just say, oh, I want X amount of money in Tesla long term. I'm going to take all that money. I'm just going to buy it at one time. What I like to do is have layer buying. So my plan was to start around, you know, the 200 to 220 level, then continue to average down. I wanted to add more at $100 last time and I was not able to because we only stayed down there for a day, a day and a half. I'm sorry, a week or a week and a half. And so this time, my plan is to sell cash secured puts. So my long-term target to add more shares is going to be at 165 and then heavily down at $100. So that, those are my two long-term levels. And I'll explain in detail where I came up with those numbers. One of the reasons is because of these, these actual volume level or these uh, support shelves. But the second reason is actual from fundamental reasons, which we're gonna go over in that fundamental bullish thesis video that will be coming out sometime at the end of the week. Now, overall, playing the upside on Tesla here, it's tough. I'm still holding March calls from back in middle of January, and I'm going to continue to hold on to those just because they're down so much. It's not like a hopium thing. It's just a, a logical thing that if your calls are down 90 something percent, and there is the chance because there's still time value left to this, there's about eight weeks left, that we could maybe see a move back up to 220. It's very, very, very doubtful but I don't have much to lose holding on to those contracts still. So I hope that this video helped guys. I'm going to continue to keep you guys updated on any positions that I take. If you guys are interested in learning how to trade and following my trades, as well as all of my trading bots, you guys can do so at the second link in the description. We've been absolutely killing it with the trading bots and we've actually built a fully automated ETF, which is a proxy account. This is not a million dollars in real money. Basically, we took all of my trading bots and I wanted to test the idea of actually building a fully 100% automated ETF to where I don't even have to trade anymore. I can just allow it to do it for me. So if you guys want to see that video, that will be right here. And you guys can follow that entire journey with us each and every single week. Part two of why I picked all of these stocks will be coming out soon. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you next time. Peace.